Hello boys and girls, it's good to see you again. Can't wait till we're in Sunday school again and we can all be together. Today we're going to be talking about Samuel and the Tabernacle. And our word today is worship. And that is to give honor and praise and respect to God and Jesus. And this week we get to worship together again at church. Isn't that appropriate for this lesson? And our verse is, Come, let us worship God. And that's in Psalms 95, 6. Here's a picture. And this is Eli, his mom, and Samuel at the tabernacle. And um, his mother had prayed for Samuel way before he was ever born that she wanted him to work for God. So when Samuel was a very young boy, she took him to live at the tabernacle. And Samuel's mother would come to see him every year and she'd bring him a new robe like he has on here. And one night Samuel was in bed and he was laying there to go to sleep and he heard his name and said, Samuel, Samuel. And so he went in there, ran in there to Eli and said, what do you want? And he said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. This happened three times. And the third time, Eli realized that was God talking to him. He said, go back to bed and listen to God. And so God talked to uh, Samuel. And Samuel became a prophet. And he told people what God wanted them to know. And he continued to, to grow and learn about God. And all the people that Samuel, they knew that he was a prophet. And that he, because he would tell them what God wanted them to know. And all the people in Israel liked Samuel. They loved him, and they listened to what he had to say. And we need to do the same. We need to listen to our leaders and our preacher and our teachers so we can learn about God too. And isn't it great that we can get to come together again at church? And hopefully soon we'll be able to have Sunday school again. Because I miss y'all so much. I can't wait to see everyone. And I hope I can see some of you Sunday. Let's have prayer now. Lord, thank you for this day, Lord, and all that you've given us, Lord. Be with the sick, Lord, and heal their bodies. Be with the ones that have lost loved ones, Lord. Give them strength and comfort during this time. Lord, thank you that we're going to be able to start church again and that we can see each other. Lord, be with our leaders and our staff, Lord, and continue to bless them and their families, Lord. We just pray all this in your name. Amen.